Good morning and welcome to this week's Market Review. I'm Mike Caprillion, your host here at Shasta Produce. Today, the first of two items I want to show you is going to be the smitten apple. Smitten apple is a combination of a gala and a Braeburn. So realizing that the gala is a great apple, it's juicy, but it also bruises easy, versus the Braeburn, which is actually a tartar crisper apple, but it's also a more solid apple, comes to Smitten. The Smitten was developed back in 2010. Get a little bit of history on it. It started in New Zealand. This is a fantastic apple for your counter. Why? Because it holds its shape. It doesn't dehydrate the way they do. You're gonna put these on the counter, sample them out. They last a lot longer than the Gala apple will because of the density of the apple. Let me cut one of these real quick and show you what it looks like on the inside. The beautiful blush on the outside, you could see how it's related to the Gala just by the outer skin, yet when you look at this apple, you've got the darkness that a Braeburn would normally have. You could listen to the crispness. I mean, it's an amazingly strong, solid apple. There you go. The key to sales in your produce department is really engaging the customer, sampling out the product, making them a friend, and they'll be coming back. Mm. Delicious, crisp, and sweet. What else could you ask for? Now I'm gonna take you over to a wonderful, one of my favorite fruits coming out of Chile, Muscat Seedless. Let's go take a look at them now. Mm. The second item I wanted to show you is one that's one of my favorite pieces of fruit. During spring break, we start getting the seedless muscat grapes coming out of Chile, and boy, they're so good. Sweet, juicy, everything that you want in a grape, and it's seedless. And with the muscat grape, you know that seed, it's big, it's really big. Whereas this grape is a seedless muscat grape. So you get the great flavor, you get the sugar, the color, it'll turn a little bit more of a blush red as the season gets on. It's got a great green stem to it. This is a fresh grape here at Shasta Produce. Let me tell you a little history about this grape real quick. Not this particular variety, but where this came from and where it will go to. So this grape will take two weeks by the time it lands here at Shasta Produce. From the picking and packing, going out to the pier at Santiago, Chile, turning around, putting it on a container ship. From there, it goes into LA. It gets offloaded and trucked up here to Shasta Produce. Make sure you sample them out. Leave most of them in the bag. Take a few of them out. Your customers will go crazy for these. So sweet. That's it for this week's Market Review. I'm Mike Caprelli and your host here at Shasta Produce. See you next time.